Yeah, that, that, that's the, the virtual circle, you know. If you are doing good, I mean, the customers always want to do more good. They, I mean, the, 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 the secret there is that you have to involve the customer in that process because at the end, uh, when you are in the top 95%, if you want to achieve 100%, mm -hmm. you have to get the customer involved because it takes to change some process of the customer. So it's a, it's a, it's a process that uh, we work together with the customers in order to achieve excellence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you know, with respect to the initial region, as you know, our clients are extremely large, so we may have 10, 20, 70 call centers serving it. Yeah. So pretty much what we try to achieve there is be the top or among the very top uh, performers. Mm -hmm. uh, that way they won't uh, tell you anything. I think that there is a, um, the, the main advantage is the, the cost. Obviously, we do have a, a macroeconomic cost here that is a this is an advantage that we have mm -hmm. because the cost of operating here in Latin America is cheaper and uh, here we are not talking about low cost labor I, I think that that's not the right word it's a competitive cost because the people that work here for the states they have better salary salaries than the one that are w working here in another industry for for, for for local customers so it's, a, it's an opportunity for the people there as well for the people that work for Spain the people here in Colombia that work for Spain are not there because they, they are low cost, because they, they, they have better salaries than the one that work for Colombia. So I think that uh, we have a, a, a competitive advantage. But as, as Mars mentioned before, there is room for the local market in, in Spain, mm -hmm. for the local market in, in, in the States. But I think that it, there is also room for, for, uh, for offshore operation. And I think that the the, the challenge here for us is not to get more businesses for, for the States or for Spain, because I think that the companies have already made the decision to outsource. We are competing with Chile, with Argentina, for the, for, for the uh, Spanish market. So I think that the growth is going to come more from other competitors and other countries that, than, rather than from Spain and the same in the States. Well, I can tell you that I personally welcome every single team that comes into, into Connecta. I already met that team. Mm -hmm. I tried to meet them the first, second, third day. And uh, from day one, we explain what is citizen of the world, what is citizen of the planet, and the special position this building has in the 268 call centers that we have worldwide. So they know that from day one, from me. However, we also have a citizen of the world, citizen of the planet coordinator here in Colombia, it's Claudia Rubio, uh, her name. And she also welcomes every group that joins the company and goes into a little bit more of detail with respect to this. So one week later, I can tell you, every person that joins the company is already fully aware of these initiatives and the position that Colombia is taking as a leader worldwide. And, and the reason being is that here in, in TP Colombia, we do believe that the, 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 the issue that in the past some people think that the, the people is uh, trying to get a job. No, no, it's the companies that who is us, the companies who are fighting for getting the, the right people. So we do a lot of exo marketing in, in locally in order to attract the best talent here to Colombia, to, to TP Colombia. So it's, it's no longer the situation where the employees are fighting or begging for a job. Now is the companies who are fighting for the best talent. Mm -hmm. so and actually, when Rodrigo mentions this, for example, I know my face by, uh, by memory now. The last thing I tell every group when I welcome them, welcome them is uh, thank you for choosing to work with yeah. us. We know you have a choice in employment, so we really appreciate working with us. We have, to, 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 yeah, we have to seduce the people to work with us. Mm. So, it's, of course, no question about it. It's going to be the real contact center but because now you have calls, you have mails, sometimes chats, but then you have the social media. I think that is a challenge and it's, a, you know, it's an opportunity for the agents, you know, but we will need much more uh, better training and better uh, skilled uh, agents in the floor when they are dealing with uh, social media. Mm -hmm. Because now you have one-to-one -one communication, then you will have one-to millions. Yeah. So. The challenges. But even today, I mean, the programs are quite complex. In uh, most of the programs we have here, the training is from six to eight weeks. Yeah. 
in four different decoders. Yeah. So it's quite sophisticated. You have to manage several screens at the same time. Yeah, but it's it's, it's one to one communication. Yeah. Once you are in social media, you are one to many. Because then it's very transparent. Yeah. So the communication between the agent and the yeah. member of the public can be seen by everybody else. Yeah, mm. of course, of course. That's a challenge. Mm. Yeah, that's a challenge. I I I, I just read in I think it's at the Economist that they're expecting that the social media will generate that 14 million jobs worldwide in the next 10 years. Mm. So it's going to be a revolution. 14 million jobs in the worldwide in the next 10 years. The, the, all the, the social media and 